Hi everybody, it's Violet Kitty, and welcome to Brandy Brooks Groundhog Day Part 2. That was Lily jumping on the back of my chair. Okay, and so we are back at Takamizu Village in Brandy Brooks' tiny little vacation home. She brought her son, Dustin, and she also brought Nina and Dina Caliente. Fun fact for those of you who have not played Sims 2, is the Caliente sisters are actually twins and they are one fourth alien, if I Church remember correctly. Oh. And we can, you can actually check most things about your guests on vacation, but you can't control them. So, yes, their father. Flamenco Caliente is actually half alien because their grandfather, Nestor, was abducted. So there we go. All right. And they are twins. Dina is the widow of Michael Bachelor. And a couple things to know is actually Michael Bachelor is Bella Goth's brother. And... Dina actually has a romantic interest in Mortimer Goth, as does Nina. There's a lot of dysfunction in Pleasant View. <laughs> All right. So I wasn't actually planning on showing you them on another vacation, but it made sense to me that we were going to go ahead and do that because there's something new that's going to happen this vacation that didn't happen on the last one. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get the twins started with fishing. Now, they don't actually earn any skills, but they will actually collect fish. So eventually they will want to fish themselves. Uh, during vacation, only if you actively satisfy once or realize fears will there aspiration change. It will not actually decay. And none of their relationships away from their, away from these two, uh, the, the brokes will change either. Okay. So yeah, you can check out the relationships. They both are into Don Lothario. Oh, she's not into Mortimer. Nina's not into Mortimer Goth. But they're both into Don Lothario and actually Cassandra Goth is actually into Don Lothario as well. Uh, Dina has a desire to marry a rich Sim. And she also has a desire to have a baby. Nina wants to get fit. She'd like to earn one point of charisma, which isn't going to happen. She'd like to go swimming. Also not going to happen. None of these are going to happen for them while they're here. But like I said, their aspiration does not actually go up or down. Now, because we got a few perks from our last vacation, the carefree, the refreshed, and the productive, what's going to happen is I am actually going to work on, instead of skills, I'm going to work on some badges, uh, toy making, and other, we will actually work on some of these, these badges, they're um, craftables that are found in hobbies, miscellaneous, and there's five that we can work on. And they are pottery, sewing, move this guy over here, okay. Robotics, toy making, and floral arrangement. Okay. Now, Brandy wants to actively work on toy making and robotics. So I want to look to see what her skills are. Her mechanical isn't high enough, so I'm not willing to let her work on robotics because her ability to do robotics is actually directly impacted by that, but her creativity is maxed. So we'll let her 
make Sir Brixalots. And Dustin, as soon as he has finished pulling these girls in, is going to start working on sewing or actually floral arrangement. Let's let's make daisy bouquets. All right. And because they are in fall and they have that additional benefit of the, I think it's the carefree, it might be the refreshed. They work pretty fast. Now he already got this. One thing I want to do is have him buy a car. So in order to do that, move the tree over here, go to build mode. Buy a driveway, miscellaneous car, any old car will do, including the little subcompact. So he satisfied that. Now he wants to learn about more about flower arrangement. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, okay, he finished this most recent batch of daisies. So... Yay. Okay, sell that. Now he's going to make wildflower. The options get better as their skills get better. And Brandy will probably there. And she's got that. So as soon as she is finished with this one, you can judge based off of the... There we go. Cancel that out, even though it doesn't look done, it is. And she can sell that. And I'm going to have her, oh, she's got to go puke. And now she's going to make clown in the box, which is another toy. They're going to do this for two days while they have these benefits and the Caliente sisters are going to get over the fact that they don't like each other too much. Okay. And he just reached his silver badge. Okay. I'm actually going to have him work on pottery and then we'll get back to this. He's going to get his bronze badge in pottery. Okay. And she just finished this. Sell that. And I'm going to have her make some pot holders. And he has just gotten his bronze badge in pottery. So he'll go back to here. Scrap that. Now he's going to make mixed flower bouquets. And we'll watch her for a couple minutes while she's making these pot holders. All right, there we go. Now these craftables actually wind up in their inventory. Now that she's got her bronze in, in that. 
Okay, so something fun here is even though I queued up this white with red polka dots cloud in the box, two of them came up with this black and red flamey one, which is actually really good for a toddler that, that is low and nice. So we're going to keep those because I find them special. And I actually try to sell those in a local shop. We're just going to get rid of these. And now back to her toy making. We're going to do the kites. And again, we're trying to keep our aspiration at least in gold. Okay. She just actually hit, she wanted to hit the, in the zone for her artistic and she just hit it. So great. Yay her. He's going to not hit it as quickly because he didn't work on artistry on their first vacation, just read about creativity, which gives him a slight artistry. But also he doesn't develop artistry as quickly as she does. And there we go. I'm going to cancel that and just scrap that. We get the full cost back for that. And now we're going to make tea sets on the potter pottery. And the Caliente girls feel fine. Let's check. Yep, they now like each other, so that's good. Oh, wait, yeah. They like each other. All right. And that's it for her toy making. She's done. Sell that kite. And now I'm going to have her make curtains. And the nice thing is, is I don't have to stop her after that. She actually even wants to make some floral, so maybe that'll work. Okay, so he's done with his second badge, and he would like to hit maximum enthusiasm for artistry. Now we're going to go ahead and have him make pictures. These are strictly decorative items around their home, but they can actually sell them if they own a business. Actually, you can sell anything found in the build or buy mode if they own a business, except for walls, wallpapers, and flooring, as far as I can tell. And she already hit her silver, and I'm just going to have her continue making curtains because I like those around the house. They can actually, once they hit gold, they can actually make outfits for themselves in the sewing. Once they hit, or once they hit silver, they can make outfits for themselves. Once they hit gold, they can make some other really interesting outfits as well that are only available to gold people. But if they're silver, they can make anything that you find in casts. And he just finished that, and I forgot to have him do some toy making, which is okay. Oops, let's go ahead and scrap that. I'm going to have him make some toys. And if he hits that before, yep, okay. So he just hit the zone, which is cool. Oh, and Brandy 
is finished. It looks like she's actually finished with this most recent curtain. Too. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to have her actually work on this. The pottery reduces their hygiene really badly. And it also, these items are also uncomfortable for them, especially for her since she's pregnant. Okay, he wants to buy a painting. That's easy. Painting does not have to be expensive. It's under decorative painting. I'm going to buy this garland here. Just plop it up on the wall. Oops. I forgot to sell his car. That's okay. We'll sell it now. And we're going to take a depreciation hit, but that's all right. He's got enough things going on that the depreciation on a car isn't that going to be that big of a deal for him. And now he wants to do some more toy making. Typically, for the first level, it's about three options. And there we go. Three. All right, and she needs to buy either a guitar and or a piano. Hobbies, creativity, gu guitar, piano. And we're going to put those in there. I didn't get any special kites, but if you get the one that's creepy looking, it pretty much guarantees your sim will be struck by lightning, which can be very useful if you have a knowledge sim. Okay. Make tea sets. Oh, I didn't switch into... in a box. Let's make the kites and let's see if he gets any of the creepy ones. And it is a hard pregnancy, so she's puking again. And their time is almost up, as perhaps how long. So I'll let them each finish this particular item. So they will each have gotten three crafts in. Their skill speed has literally been doubled over what it just was, which is fine. Oh, and for the record, the thinking cap does not increase their badge earning. I've tried. Okay. 
how quickly Sim 2 Sim's skill is based off of a variety of things, and that actually includes their personality. Certain personality traits increase their building of skills, but their skills actually determine how quickly they build artistic craftable badges. All right, so she's done with that. I'm going to have her fish with her girlfriends for a little while. his own sweet time finishing this one. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. And he did get three of the lightning kites. And she's down in her gold, so I'm going to send her off to work on mechanical. And now, basically, she and he are going to do exactly what they did before on their last vacation, is constantly switch out earning skills to fishing. So on the next vacation, which I actually am not going to record for you, they will each get their remainder two craftables for her. For both of them, it's going to be this robotic station, and they both need a 10 in mechanical for that. For her, it's going to be the floral arrangement, and for him, it's going to be sewing. So they'll both work they'll work on these two items. So since they both have their pottery, their toy making, I'm going to go ahead and put those items in her pocket and get rid of anything that I don't need. Pottery. I'm keeping those curtains. And I'm like, I'm keeping the creepy toys. And now that I have shown you that first part, I'm going to call it quits on this part of Brandy Brooks' Groundhog Day Part 2. And that's all I have to say. BK out.